Hi there, Doggy Dan here from the Online Dog Trainer. This is Austin, a dog that I worked with uh, at the weekend. And as you can see, he could jump pretty high. And that was sort of one of the main issues that they had, that whenever they had a ball or a stick in their hands, he was up there. I'm actually two meters tall, so you can imagine how high his mouth is, his jaw. It's up there at two meters high. And uh, he was a pretty powerful boy with a lot of energy. It was pretty dangerous because if you didn't have a chucker, he would actually try and grab the ball out of your hands as well. So that was a, a bit of an issue. And as you can see from my facials, it was actually pretty scary. If you watch this, he really can jump that boy. And sometimes he was getting you in the stomach with his paw. The other thing is, if you watch him, he doesn't need much of a run up. He can literally jump from a standing start and, uh, and then bound again. So watch, here he goes. He goes up from almost a standing start and then he leaps back almost immediately and uh, uses my stomach for takeoff so it's pretty painful That's oh, oh. Yeah. so the the real solution as always is you have to have control of the environment you've got to have control of your dog and uh, so many times people try and train a dog who's running around off leash out of control First thing is you need some sort of device, such as a long line like this one here, so you can start to train the dog. And um, as we, when we first started, he was still pretty loose and uh, still jumping around a bit, but using a number of different techniques, within 10, 15 minutes, we got him uh, pretty well, um, well trained in terms of waiting for the ball before it was released. And uh, he got what he wanted and we got what we wanted. So it was a sort of fair trade-off. When a dog is getting too excited, uh, such as this example here, or when they're getting too excited with another dog, one real simple way to calm them down a little bit is to walk them around on the lead. It's something which a lot of people um, look over, and yet it's a very uh, simple and yet effective way of just bringing that dog's energy down a couple of levels. A calm dog is always easier to work with than a very excited one. And then you start to say to him, if you want this ball, sit, good boy. Wait. Okay. Okay. Now you can feel him already sort of thinking about doing the sit. Yeah. He's already going, good boy. And that's where you could almost reward him now. That's a good boy. Ready? Good boy. And it wasn't long before we had dear Austin waiting for the ball both uh, out of the hand and also when it was in the chucker. He really got it quite quickly and uh, very soon you'll be able to take that um, long line off and he'd still perform the same way. So lovely little success there. So there you have it. That's Austin the Jumping Boxer Dog. I've worked with a lot of dogs, a lot of jumping dogs, and a lot of jumping boxer dogs. And I think Austin is probably right up there with the best of them in terms of uh, a vertical jump. So I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you'd like to see more of my consultations or you've got problems and you'd like help with your dog, then check out the onlinedogtrainer.com.